All right, folks. Um, it's easier for me to do the live videos and then just share them onto YouTube. So I'll keep with that for now. Um, hopefully I'll just get better internet and fix everything. But um, today uh, we're just going to do five minutes of practice again. So this is just another five minute drill of good practice. Now I have a rope with three knots at various levels, right? So I'm going to be using this for my training device. You can use a board, you can use a stick, you can use anything that's going to build that precision thrust with um, uh, varying levels of markers, right? Uh, if, if you have the time and may, with the way things are right now, I'll try to set up my um, tennis balls too because you can uh, cut an X in the top of your tennis ball and tie a knot in a piece of string and then you shove that in a tennis ball and you can hang them as well. You want something though that's going to build your targeting on a smaller piece just so we're working on building point control so today we're focusing on how to work good point control maintaining our foundational moves and uh remembering our uh focus all right so let me stay inside the camera well what we're going to be doing, I'm going to start a timer in a minute, is we're going to do five minutes. Actually, we'll do two minutes on each side. That way we build the left arm too, right? We're going to do five minutes of lunging. And I'm going to go over a quick review of how we're going to be doing this. Uh, remember, right, we got our four concepts, so we're never forgetting. Lead with the edge. Uh, play by feel. Uh, when you parry, step back. And when you lunge, after the lunge, parry before you recover, right? No, we're for, never forget our four. So we're not going to forget those today while we're practicing. So today we're going to find, and this is, uh, my backyard's in the middle of getting um, redid. So, but uh, today we're going to be focusing on getting that good, where I think I can hit from a lunge, right? So I want to get into that point where I'm making my lunge, making my lunge, making my lunge hitting these three different spots. Now, if you're a little shy because it's high or different, don't worry about that too much. The idea is to get your point on. But what we're gonna be making sure we do when we do these lunges is we're trying to hit the knots, or if you've got markers, whatever you're using, right? We're trying to hit them, but you're not always going to. And that's another part of the drill we're gonna be working on. What do you do when you lunge and you miss, right? Because I have a sword. So remember, if you do find that miss, make that cut, get that parry, recover, right? Maintaining our core concepts, we can still remember how to uh, hit our opponent or get a hit on our opponent should our initial attack uh, fail. All right, let me get my timer going. Put a glove on today because I don't want to get my sword too rusty with my hand. I, Timer's here. Come on. Okay. Here we go. So again, maintaining our good mechanics for the lunge, finding where I think I can hit, making that lunge. And now I just remembered, I forgot to maintain that focus of extend lunge. Extend lunge, boom, boom. Extend lunge, extend lunge. Extend lunge. Extend lunge. If you have a roof, be aware of that. <sighs> oh, that was that was all one motion. See how I came out like that? I don't want to do that. So I gotta make sure. Align the tip, extend the sword, come back, align oh. Align the tip, extend the sword, come back. And if it starts swaying like this, even more point control now, right? This has improved my initial drill. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, I didn't like that one because the arm and the leg led together, which is part of the drill. Remember, it's okay if you screw it up, but catch yourself doing it. Don't let yourself get so caught up in the training exercise that you forget the quality of your form. And I want it swaying because now I've got to change I'm coming in for that thrust. Change, I'm coming in for that thrust. Oh, got it that time. 
Ah, see, leg led at that time. Mm. Back to it. Bam. And I'll slow it down a little for myself to make sure I get that. A line extend, go. 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 That one, the leg had a little more lead on it. Let's fix that. A line extend. A line extend. A line extend. Remember, change up your pairs. I'm working on what I want to get, but change up the ones you're doing. A few more, then we'll switch over. Like that. I like that. Put my arm. Boom. I like that. Left arm. Let's find that angle. Getting my good one. Oh, and if I'm left-handed, I've been armed. And I missed because my lefty's bad. Now I'm forgetting my parries. Because again, left on. Ah, oh, dang it. That's okay. That's why we do this. Make sure I'm still on the camera here. And that's why sometimes you'll have to slow down. It's easy to get so caught up in doing a drill that you forget why you're doing it. And you'll start to lose the value of that form. And uh, cut like that because I'm left-handed, right? Bam, 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 bam. Coming in with that low. Back to high. Getting that extend. Coming across. Guarding myself. Doing good, doing good. And let's slowly swing a little bit. So I want to work just a little bit more on getting that initial thrust with my left arm, which could always use the improvement. Again, my left arm's not my best side, so I have to work on that. If you get a little tired during this, and let's say you just finished doing arms today, you need to let it rest a second. It's not a competition here, don't worry about it. Just make sure you keep going, right? Getting those good mechanics. Good mechanics. Good mechanics. Feeling it now. Oh, let's get that full extension first. Full extension out. Full extension out. Full extension out. And we're done. Five minutes. And I know I did my arms earlier, so I'm feeling it already. I'm going to do just a couple more to maintain my thought process of what I want in this, because again, I got into the drill and I forgot to parry sometimes, or I forget to make sure I got the extension sometimes. What do you think is going to happen in a fight? You will be in the middle of what you're doing, you'll be amped up, and you'll forget, right? So that's why I'm going to redo a couple practice just to make sure I remember I'm getting that good mechanic. Line lunch, boom, parry, boom. <sighs> A line lunge, boom, parry. A line lunge, parry. One more set for me, boom. Boom. Last one, boom. All right, I felt good about those. Keep training. Uh, let me know if you got any questions in the comments. There was a question I was gonna get to today, but uh, I need a partner for that. And everyone has due stuff today, so I'll address it tomorrow. Okay, um, take it easy, folks, and I'll see you soon.